Hello everyone, my name is Chip and I am ruggedly handsome. And you know what? So are you. Something not a lot of people will know about me is that I absolutely love humans. Except the ones who don't return their trolley. Those ones can go straight to hell. Now, when the world was young and so was I, I actually broke out into modern playing a human tribal list. And it's a deck that I do return to on occasion in paper play. And I'm also a little bit of a fan of a death and taxes list, you might have guessed. So when user God's Shadow kept taking a mono white humans list to 5-0 finishes and I saw it was jam packed full of taxes cards, well, I just had to sit up and take notice. This deck is beautiful. The deck is running 12 tax pieces, four Esper Sentinel, four Guardian of Thraben, and four Anointed Peacekeepers. The game plan here is to slow our opponents down to a crawl whilst we hit them really, really hard. One of the cards I'm most excited about is Guardian of New Banalia, a two mana 2-2 two -two human soldier with Enlist. When Guardian of New Banalia attacks, we can tap a non-attacking creature we control without summoning sickness and add its power to Guardian of New Banalia's attack until end of turn. So if we want to attack for full damage but we don't want to risk losing one of our taxing pieces, we can just enlist them and that risk goes away. And as an added benefit, when Guardian of New Banalia enlists a creature, we get to scry too. So we get to smooth out our future draws and dig for answers. And as if that was not enough, we can discard a card from our hand to make Guardian of New Banalia indestructible until end of turn. Unfortunately, this does tap it, but better sideways than sideways, am I right? Before we get to the games, I wanted to give a massive thank you to my current supporters whose name are on the screen now. You help keep the channel alive. Links to support and to the Discord are down below. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And now, let's get on with the games. Round one. Round one, we have lost the die roll, but yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Razor Verge Thicket, Plains Aether Vial, pass the turn there. Temple Garden tapped, and they're passing. Aether Vial ticking up. Let's run out Muta Vault, Aether Vial, Hopeful Initiate, pass the turn there. Opponent's just passing. Let's activate Aether Vial, put Hopeful Initiate into play. Go to my turn, tick up both of my Aether Vials, play a Planes, animate the Muta Vault, go to combat, and swing in. Training triggers, so we're going to swing in for six. Opponent cracks the Windswept Heath, gets a Breeding Pool, Spell Queller. That will be able to take out the Muta Vault, which it does. We'll just pass the turn there, and they're passing. This screams Collected Company. Activate Aether Vial. Put Ambitious Farmhand into play. Grab a Planes. Go to my turn. Tick up both of my Aether Vials. Play a Planes. Go to Combat. Swing with everything. Activate Aether Vial. Put Thalia's Lieutenant into play. Counters everywhere. We now control three creatures with different power, so we can Coven. Yeah, hit them for seven. Awesome, they're down to six. Pass the turn there. End Step Collected Company. All right, what do they hit? Nothing relevant and the game goes to us. Awesome. Uh, I think the marches are pretty good here. Probably over the Adelines and the Anointed Peacekeepers. Run it back like that. Let's keep this one. Razor Verge Thicket into a Noble Hierarch. So they've got a faster start this time. Let's lead Cavern of Souls, naming human, run out Aether Vial, pass the turn there. Devoted Druid, okay. Aether Vial ticking up. So we actually could be pretty close to dead next turn, couldn't we? Let's run out a Ganjo, run out another copy of Aether Vial and pass it there. It's a counter on the Devoted Druid and untaps it. Oh, just getting ahead with the Collected Company. We don't want them to go infinite. So we're gonna get rid of the Thar is lieutenant here to cast March of Otherworldly Light. X equals two. Knight of Autumn and Giver of Runes. Gonna take out an Aether Vial and passes there. Well, this Aether Vial is gonna tick up. So they are stuck on one land. Let's run out Muta Vault and the Guardian. Pass the turn there. Another copy of Devoted Druid. No attacks and passes. Aether Vial ticking up. Cavern of Souls naming human. Attack for two. They're just gonna take it. Okay, pass it there. Reflector Mage. Bounces my Guardian, just passing though. Activate Aether Vial, Guardian into play. Go to my turn, let's keep the Aether Vial on two. Hopeful Initiate's interesting. Let's go to combat, attack for two, blocks like that. Activate Aether Vial, Thalia's Lieutenant into play. We should animate the Muta Vault. Oh, and we eat the Reflector Mage, fantastic. I guess now we have enough counters, we can play the Hopeful Initiate. Pass the turn there, Gavany Township. Duskwatch Recruiter, okay, they're one piece away. Another Giver of Runes hurts. Go to my turn, Aether Vial. 
while. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll tick it up. Seagate Wreckage. Play that. Animate the Muta Vault. Attack enlisting our Muta Vault. Let us scry two. Put both on the bottom. Blocks with the Knight of the Reliquary. We have consumed it. We just pass. Dusk Watch Recruiter. They're going to activate it once. Hits another copy of Devoted Druid. Transforms. They play a Hallowed Fountain. Untapped. Another copy of Giver of Runes. It's getting harder and harder to get through. Untaps the Devoted Druid. Runs out Devoted Druid. Dusk Watch Recruiter number two. And I don't know how, but somehow we are still alive. Transforms back their werewolf. Let's keep Aether Vile on three. Esper Sentinel. Let's cast it. Let's go to combat. Swing in, enlisting the lieutenant. Training happens. March of Otherworldly Light's not helpful. Neither of these are helpful. Put on the bottom, put on the bottom. All right, let's see what they do. Blocking with just the Duskwatch recruiter. Okay, sure, gives protection. Guess we play a Ganjo. Keep one of them and pass. Activates Duskwatch recruiter does hit the Vizier of Remedies, casts it. So now we draw with the Seagate Wreckage. Brutal Cathar. No, that doesn't do it. Scoop it up. Okay, now I know what we're up against. The anointed peacekeepers are amazing. And I don't even hate Dismember. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. Gonna go down to one Thalia, run it back like that. Let's go first. Yeah, we can keep this one. It's got the answer to their combo in hand in Anointed Peacekeeper. Planes, Aether Vial, go. Razor Verge Thicket, Noble Hierarch. They pass to us. Aether Vial, ticking up. Cavern of Souls, name's human. Run out another copy of Aether Vial. Run out the champion of the parish. Pass the turn there. Flooded Strand, they crack it. Get a Planes, Vizier of Remedies. Okay, activate Aether Vial. Hopeful Initiate, counter on the champion. Go to my turn, Aether Vial's ticking up. Let's go to combat, attack with both. They take it, we're gonna pass the turn there. They're just passing, back to our turn. Tick up my Aether Vials. Run out another copy of Hopeful Initiate. Pump up the champion. Go to combat, swing in for six. No blocks, pass the turn there. Court of Calling, X equals two. Now I activate Aether Vial. Anointed Peacekeeper. So they had the backup Vizier of Remedies. So we got lucky there. Okay. Devoted Druid named with the Anointed Peacekeeper. Counter and on a Champion of the Parish. Pass it there. Waterlogged Grove. Eternal Witness. Yep. Yeah. What does it get back? The Court of Calling passes back to us. Keep my Aether Vials where they are. Play the Planes. Go to combat, attack with everything, training triggers, going for massive blocks like that. I think we take out the Vizier here. This means we get to keep the champion of the parish and keeping the anointed peacekeeper around is a very big deal. Okay, Court of Calling X equals two. So they're doing that now. Does get another copy of Devoted Druid. We have to hope they don't have the removal and the wolf. All right, so we're gonna hit them. They're down to four, awesome. So they're gonna go down to two with their lands, depending on what they're casting. Seems great to me. All right, pass it there. Horizon Canopy, cracks the canopy to draw, has access to four mana. Cracks the waterlogged grove to draw, puts the Neg 1, Neg 1 counter on, but has to pay two mana to untap it. Yes! <laughs> oh, God. I'm so glad there's a deck where Anointed Peacekeeper is good. Love it. Round two. Alrighty, round two, we've lost the die roll. I'm gonna mulligan this one. Yeah, we can keep this one. I'm gonna throw back one of the cavernous souls. Planes into Aether Vial. Go to my turn. Well, let's go planes into Esper Sentinel. <laughs> Don't think it's gonna be particularly good off the Aether Vial start there. Pass it there. Opponent ticks up their Aether Vial. Plays the planes. Runs out Leon and Arbiter. Pretty gross. Go to my turn. Cavern of Souls. Name human. Run out our first Thalia. Pass the turn there. No attacks. They activate Aether Vial. Put in a Giver of Runes and pass the turn. Aether Vial ticks up to two. They do have the Ghost Quarter. Pulls the trigger now on our Cavern of Souls. Swings in for two. We're just going to take it. Go to my turn. Muta Vault. Let's run out Guardian of New Benalia. Pass the turn there. No attacks. Opponent goes to their turn. Ticks up their Aether Vial. Plays a Planes. Swings in for two. I'll just take it. Activates Aether Vial. Archon of Emeria passes to us. Planes. Brutal Cathar. Let's target the Giver of Runes. Ephemerate. Do you pay the one? Does. Okay. Well, let's go to combat. Attack and enlist with the Guardian using Thalia. Pump our Guardian. Scry two. I think put both on the bottom. Looking for something a bit more impactful. All right. 
and we hit our opponent for four and pass the turn there. Femorate has a rebound trigger. They let it go. Their own copy of Thalia swings in for four. We're just going to take it. There's the Esper Sentinel I wasn't too fond of in the first place. Let's animate the Mutavolt. Thalia's Lieutenant. Pump the team. Attack with Brutal Cathar, attack and enlist, enlist with Guardian, targeting the Thalia. So we're going to get to Scry 2, Thalia to the bottom. Ambitious Farmhand could be good. So we're probably, we're not going to get to search, but I think, do we have enough creatures of different power? Yeah, we do. So put on top, the lifelink might be relevant. Okay, just blocks with Thalia, fails to protect Thalia with the giver. So we ate Thalia, dealt three to them, that's good, pass it there. I mean, we have enough power now, maybe they're just on the defensive. They obviously didn't have a three drop, or maybe they just have solitude. Would they run Restoration Angel? Maybe. Swings in for four, I'll just take it. So this pretty much screams Resto to me. Flicker Wisp. Okay. What does Flicker Wisp target? Guardian. Okay. Brings back the Guardian. Pumps up the Thalia's Lieutenant. I think this is a turn where we don't cast a spell. Animate the Mutavolt. I wonder. So if they block two of our things, so they block the two strongest. So two three threes and they take five. And if we play the Esper Sentinel 10 down to three, we're at eight. So we could be dead on the backswing. Taking their Giver of Runes off the table would be pretty great though. Yeah, let's run out Esper Sentinel here. Pump up the Thalia's Lieutenant. Do I want to scry two with the Guardian? That could protect the Brutal Cathar. So attack and enlist the Brutal Cathar. Attack with everything else. Scry two. Ganjo to the bottom. Noted Peacekeeper might be pretty good. Let's put that on top because there's the potential that we could name um, Giver of Runes. How do they block? Blocks Thalia's Lieutenant. And that's it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Opponent, maths is for blockers, which means it's something you should do. Uh, so against this deck, taxes, we need some removal is what we need. Uh, and I don't hate the Laurens either. Going to ditch the Thalias, I think, because they're not great. They're an ephemerate version of the list. Man, I would love some containment priests in this list. What if we cut one Esper Sentinel and then the Ambitious Farmhands? Because we might not get to search either. Yeah, run it back like that. I guess it's kind of technically a one lander here, but I guess so we'll keep Tectonic Edge into Aether Vial. Okay, go to my turn. Planes is very good. Let's play the planes. Run out our own Aether Vial. Pass it there. Aether Vial ticking up. They play a planes and they're passing. Okay, Aether Vial ticking up. Yes. Let's run out Iganjo. Run out Thalia's Lieutenant. Thalia's Lieutenant enters, and with the trigger on the stack, we're going to activate our Aether Vial and put our Esper Sentinel into play. This means both creatures will get plus one, plus one counters. They're activating their Aether Vial, putting Giver of Runes into play. Okay. We shall pass it there. Their Aether Vial is ticking up to two. Ghost Quarter. Solitude. Is this with the Ephemerate backup? It is. Do they pay the two? They do. Okay. I won't lie. This is going to be tough, but they're down to one card in hand. All right. They take out our Sentinel as well. Pass it there. Aether Vial ticking up. Tick it up to two. March of Otherworldly Light. Let's cast March on the giver. Yep. They're giving Solitude Protection. Run out the Aganjo. Keep the untapped Aganjo. Pass the turn there. Memorate rebounding. Targets nothing. Swings in for three. I'm just going to take it. There's the Stone Forge. Gets Caldra. So let's go to my turn. Aether Vial ticking up. Run out Hopeful Initiate. Activate Aether Vial. Yes. Anointed Peacekeeper. Flicker Wisp and Caldra. Thought so. So let's name Aether Vial. And then cast Dismember on the Stone Forge. Opponent activates their Aether Vial, realizes how taxes work, <laughs> and untaps their Aether Vial. And we'll just pass the turn there. Okay, their Aether Vial's on three. Activates it now. Flicker Wisp. What is that target? Their Solitude. Okay. Tectonic Edge. Flicker Wisp returns their Solitude. Takes out our Peacekeeper. Okay. Back up to 20. Go to my turn. Aether Vial staying on three. Run out another copy of Aether Vial. Put a stop in my opponent's draw step. Activate Aether Vial. Anointed Peacekeeper into play. Okay. Um, what hurts us here? Stoneforge wouldn't be great. Do we just name that? Sure, another copy of Stoneforge Mystic has been named. Pass the turn there. They play a Plains, swings in for six. Well, I'm just going to take it. They'll definitely win this race unless we start drawing really well. Adeline might be good here. Okay, let's tick up the little Aether Vial. Keep the big one on three. Esper Sentinel is a little less than ideal. Um, Could probably keep that as a surprise. Let's go to combat. Swing in for five. They take it, pass the turn. Swings in for a bunch. We're just going to take it. They didn't play anything, so they would have played 
activate a land if they had it. So they have Caldra, one unknown, activate Aether Vial on one, Esper Sentinel into play, pass the turn there. Let's tick the other Aether Vial up to two. Planes might be okay. Let's play that. Go to combat, see what they do from here. Swing in, training happens. No blocks for our opponent. Set a stop in their upkeep. Has another copy of Ephemerate. Go away. <laughs> Oh dear, I'd say that's the game. Gonna wipe our board. Yeah, all right, scoop it up. You know what? I'm genuinely tempted by Chalice here on one. Ditch the Sentinels, ditch an Aethervile, run it back like that. Love it, can't keep it. Mulligan, better, keep. Let's throw back Adeline, Planes and Pass. They play a Planes, run out the Aethervile. It's March, Ditching Anointed Peacekeeper. Go to my turn. Cavern of Souls, naming human. And let's run out the chalice on one. Pass it there. Second planes. And they pass. Awesome. That's really good. Let's run out Champion of the Parish. Yep, can't be counted. Pass the turn there. They have a planes. Archon of Amiria. Okay, go to my turn. March might come in handy later. Let's play Athalia's Lieutenant. Counters everywhere. Go to combat. Swing in for three. Take it down to 17 pass the turn there ghost quarter passes to us let's cast hopeful initiate more counters play muta vault go to combat swing in for four a ganjo that's pretty rough yep pass it there they did draw the planes so they can solitude whenever they like which will be right now solitude hits the thalia's lieutenant they swing in for two we'll just take it let's run out champion of the parish pass the turn there horizon canopy Oh dear, they are one manner away from hard casting a Caldra. Okay, they crack the Rising Cappy to draw, that's good. Swings in, animate Mutavolt, go to blocks, block the Solitude. They let it happen, awesome. Stoneforge Mystic, yeah, pretty rough. Need to draw a land here, does get the Caldra. Land or white spell, I guess. March of Otherworldly Light. Ditching Brutal Cathar, cast, go to combat, swing in for two. Okay, so hopefully our opponent has some one drops and a Caldra in hand, and that's all. <laughs> Horizon Canopy, one land away from Caldra. I'm very scared. Giver of Runes gets countered. All right, that's their one spell. They swing in for two, take it down to 16. They will eventually get to cast that Caldra unless we can do something about it. It's not exactly what I had in mind. Um, Probably just better off holding that than playing it for zero. Go to combat, swing in for two, get blown out by a Solitude here, but what else can we do? All right, they take it. Swings in for two, we're just gonna take it. Ganjo is probably not worth playing. Let's go to combat, swing in for two, pass the turn there. Swings in for two, we take it. Would love to hit a land. We own an Arbiter from them. Okay, go to my turn. Guardian of New Banala. Certainly changes the maths and I think it puts it in our favor slightly. All right, let's run out Guardian. Counter on the champion. Go to combat. Attack with both my creatures. Training happens. Swinging in for four. They are blocking. Good. Okay. Pass the turn there. They hit the seventh land. This is Kaldra. Yep. It's all right. There are plenty of cards in the deck that can remove it. Okay. So they're going to swing in for seven. Yep. So we need one of those cards pretty much right now, deck. That's not one of them. Run out the planes. Attack for two. No enlistment. Okay. They take it down to nine. Pass the turn there. If they equip... We're dead. Spell Skite. Uh, they can't redirect Iganjo to Spell Skite because it's not attacking. Swings in. Iganjo the Archon is attempting to redirect. Okay, doesn't work. Try again. Doesn't. Go to blockers. Block the gem. Go down to two. Unfortunately, I'm not sure we can get past all this though. Okay, they hit us down to three. Horizon Canopy draws them a card. Flicker Wisp. Okay, targets the Caldra. So their gem will be untapped. Awesome. Just peachy. It's too much for us to beat, unfortunately. So they've gotten us. Yep. Scoop it up. Good game against taxes. Round three. Alrighty, round three, we've won the die roll. Let's go first and mulligan and keep. I think we're throwing back Peacekeeper here. Cavern of Souls, naming a human. Running out Aether Vial, pass the turn there. Polluted Delta from our opponent into a Mishra's Bauble. Cracks the Bauble looking at their top card. Polluted Delta, cracked to get Steam Vents untapped. And they pass. Aether Vial, ticking up. Muta Vault. Let's play Muta Vault. Run out Ambitious Farmhand. Grab ourselves a Plains. Pass the turn there. Misty Rainforest into a Mishra's Bauble. Crack it again, looking at their top card. Casts a Ragavan. Take it they liked their top card. Activate Aether Vial. Put Hopeful Initiate into play. Aether Vial ticking up. Another copy of Thalia's Lieutenant. Play a Plains. 
Vault. Activate Muta Vault. Go to Combat. Oh, they're cracking the Misty Rainforest. Love it to be an Unholy Heat and not a Bolt. Unholy Heat. Thank you very much. Activate Aether Ball. Thalia's Lieutenant. Pump the team. Save the Muta Vault. Go to Combat. Swing in. Now they can trade the Ragavan for the Muta Vault if they would like. They do. Pass it there. They play a land. Merktide Regent. Pretty big boy. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Pretty small boy. Passes it there. Aether Vile staying on two. Let's play Planes. Let's transform our ambitious farmhand. Go to combat. Swing in for eight. Ooh, going for the double block. Okay, activate Aether Vile. Yes, Thalia's Lieutenant. Pump the team. And opponent scoops it up there. All right, catch you later, Merktide. Sanctifier's in for this one. <laughs> Is that it? Sanctifiers? Maybe a dismember? Don't think that's necessary. Yeah? All right. What are Sanctifiers coming over? Probably over the Adelines. Couple of hopeful initiates. Run it like that. Hmm. Let's keep this one. Misty Rainforest. And they pass. Let's lead Seagate Wreckage into Aether Vial. Pass the turn there. Misty Rainforest gets Steam Vents. Snow Covered Island into a Ledger Shredder. Pretty powerful thing. Go to my turn. Aether Vial. Tick it up. Yes. Peacekeeper. So, Muta Vault. I guess we just pass. Expressive Iteration. Exiles a Bauble. Misty Rainforest. Plays the Bauble. Gets to Connive. Cracks the Bauble looking at their top card. It's just passing. Let's activate Aether Vial. Champion of the Parish into play. They pass to us. Let's tick up our Aether Vial. Oh, have they learned? Are they going to Unholy Heat it now? They are. Okay. You have Unholy Heated my champion. Let's tick up the Aether Vial. Another copy of Thalia's Lieutenant. Let's activate Aether Vial. Ambitious Farmhand into play. Grab ourselves a planes. Play the planes. Let's play it safe and go for a peacekeeper here. Let's see what's going on in their hand. Merktide Bauble Spell Snare Unholy Heat. Um, so they could play out the Merktide, but we don't care because we have the Brutal Cathar. So I think we just name Unholy Heat here. Bauble? We could name Bauble. I think we go for the Unholy Heat. Unholy Heat now costs three. Pass the turn there. No attacks. They run out Mishra's Bauble. Cracks the Bauble, looking at their top card. Unholy Heats, taking out our anointed Peacekeeper. Steam Vents, untapped. It's just passing. Okay, go to my turn. So they've got the spells now that can counter a spell with target with mana value two. So we're going to keep the Aether Vial on two, I think. Planes. Let's go to combat. Attack for one. They're blocking. Animate Mutavolt. Activate Aether Vial. And it has the Unholy Heat. I did not consider this. Let's tap it for mana. Let's put Guardian of New Banalia into play. Sure. They take out the farmhand. We tried to trick them. They tricked us. But now we get to run out of Thalia's Lieutenant. Pump up our Guardian. Pass the turn there. Yep. Opponent runs out the Merc Tide. Big 7-7. Seven, seven. Engineered Explosives. X equals 2. It's pretty gross. Pretty gross opponent. Go to my turn. Aether Vial ticking up. Run out of Ganja Castle. Let's go to combat. Attack and enlist with the Thalia's lieutenant. So we get to scry two. Put the cavern on top. Put the oh, we've done it in the wrong order. Can I undo? I can't undo the scry. Can I? Control Z. Nope. Okay. So I wanted the canopy on top first because then the guardian could be drawn off the Seagate wreckage. Let's just put this on the bottom. I think drawing the card's better. If there's a way to undo, let me know in the comments when I can't figure it out. Okay, then activate Aether Vial. Yes, Brutal Cathar. Take out the Merc Tide. Swing in with a 5-3. Opponent's blocking. Could make mine indestructible. No. Okay, we'll just let that go. Didn't need to make it indestructible. It only had two power. What was I thinking about? All right, pass it there. Moon Rage Brute has transformed. Engineered Explosives. Let's make Guardian indestructible. Dress down. Interesting. Okay. Takes out my dudes. Polluted Delta. Cracks it. Really hoping to dodge an unholy heat. Okay. No unholy heat. That's good. Go to my turn. Aether Vial staying where it is. Cavern of Souls. Naming human. Let's draw a card. Thalia's Lieutenant. That's a good one. Swing in for three. They take it. Pass the turn there. Oh, big Merc Tide. Please cast a second spell. Please cast a second spell. No. Oh, it's only a 4-4. Four, four. That's fine. Aether Vial staying on three. Back up Aether Vial. Yeah, all right. Um, cast Aether Vial. Cast Thalia's Lieutenant. Pass the turn there. No attacks. Moon Rage Brute transforms. Takes their Merc Tide. Yep, Lightning Bolt. They get both Merc Tides back, but they're 3-3s. Three Ragavan, cast with Dash. 
only attacking with the Ragavan. All the others have summoning sickness. Um, I think it's kind of worth blocking. Yeah, don't want them getting our humans. It's just an amount of value we can't keep up with, isn't it, Ragavan? So they have one card in hand, so we're drawing more cards than they are. I thought their last card was Spell Snare. They must have connived it away. All right, so now they have a bunch of 4-4 four, four Merc Tides. This is going to be a problem. All right, let's put a stop in my upkeep. Let's draw a card. Okay, not great. Tick Aether Vial up to one. Keep the other Aether Vial on three. Anointed Peacekeeper. So I should just play the Aganjo so I get to dig deeper next turn. So run that out. Pass the turn there. Put a stop in my opponent's draw step. Activate Aether Vial. Yes. Anointed Peacekeeper. It's name Seasoned Pyromancer. Yep, they cast it. Get to draw two cards. Snow Covered Island. Swings in for 12. Okay. Is there anything in our deck that gets us out of this? So if we draw Brutal Thar, we can take out one, but we need four mana to draw again. So what for two mana helps us here? Nothing. Yeah, we might've just lost. Um, nothing has lifelink, I don't think. All right, well, we'll still draw. Champion of the Parish. Okay, so then let's not tick up Aether Vial. Other Aether Vial stays on three. What do we actually draw for our turn? Nothing helpful. Scoop it up. So they run cantrips and counter spells and all sorts of things like that. So I'm wondering if it's worth bringing in Chalice on one. I mean, I don't hate it. Chalice, cut the remaining two Hopeful Initiates, cut two Aether Vials, run it back like that. All right, let's go first. Yeah, let's keep this hand. Let's play Planes, run out Aether Vial, pass the turn there. Spy Bluff Canal to Ragavan. Pass to us, Aether Vial ticking up. Activate Aether Vial. Yes, Champion of the Parish, Planes, Sanctifier, pump up the champion, pass the turn there. Flooded Strand, they crack it. Snow Covered Island, Unholy Heat on the champion, fair enough. No attacks and passes. Aether Vial, ticking up. Let's play Muta Vault, Anointed Peacekeeper. Spell Snare, Expressive Iteration, another Ragavan, hey? Well, I guess it's expressive. Expressive Iteration, more like expensive iteration. Go to combat, attack for two, pass the turn there. They play out the steam vents, but they put it into play tapped. It's so just passing, let's activate Aether Vial. Ambitious Farmhand into play. Let's grab ourselves a Plains. Go to my turn. Uh, put Aether Vial on the stack. Animate Muta Vault. Activate Aether Vial. Thalia's Lieutenant into play. Pump up the team. Tick up Aether Vial. Back up Sanctifier. Okay. Um... I think here we just pump the ambitious, go to combat, attack for eight. Yep, they block the anointed peacekeeper. Go down to 13, pass the turn there. And opponent scoops out the match, yes. <laughs> I love this deck so much. Round four. Round four, we've lost the die roll, but we're keeping this hand. Island from our opponent. Okay, Cavern of Souls, naming human. Uh, given they led on island, could be murked. Ah, not murked, it could be... Merfolk. So I'm still going to run out the Esper Sentinel, just in case. Pass the turn there. Planes. No idea what's going on. Spreading seas. Okay, so it is Merfolk. So they turn our Cavern of Souls into an island, but we got to draw a card, which is nice. Go to my turn. Planes. Really tempted with the other Esper Sentinel. Um, it's kind of got to be champion here though, doesn't it? Let's run out champion. Go to combat. Swing in for one. Pass the turn there. Mystic Gate. Another Spreading Seas. Oof. They are paying the one this time. It's going to be tough. It's gonna be really tough. I suppose this could be a control list. Thalia that we can't cast. Muta Vault. Go to combat. Tack them for two. Pass the turn there. This could just be control, yeah. Hallowed Fountain, untapped. Teferi Time Reveler, definitely control. Pays the one so we don't draw. Ticks it up. Fair enough. Go to my turn. Planes off the top, please. Cavern of Souls is equally as good, actually. Cavern of Souls. Name human. Um, so if we run out Guardian. Oh, if we run out Guardian. Because I do love Thalia. Although Thalia, yeah, Thalia's pretty good here. Yeah, okay. Let's lead Thalia. Can't be counted. Okay. Let's animate Mutavolt and play right into a Solitude, I guess. Attacking Teferi for five to ferry down okay pass the turn there flooded strand they're passing it's run out to ganjo anointed peacekeeper cannot be counted they're cracking the flooded strand now getting an island does have the solitude okay what does it take out balia fair enough let's have a look at their hand counterspell counterspell solitude and archmage's charm probably archmage's charm Counter on the champion of the parish. Let's run out an Esper Sentinel. Counter on the champion of the parish. Let's go to combat. 
Swing in for four, take it down to 10, pass the turn there. They're just passing, awesome. Another copy of Anointed Peacekeeper. Let's run that out. And it has to make a decision here. Memory Deluge or Solitude? Let's name Solitude here, I think. Well, Memory Deluge could hit Supreme Verdict, which is pretty bad. Yeah, let's name Memory Deluge. Okay, pump up the champion of the parish. Now we run out the guardian of New Banalia. They can counter it if they want, but this basically taps them off solitude this turn because of our Esper Sentinels. Resolves, okay. Let's go to combat, swing in for six. Yep, hard cast solitude, takes out the champion. Healthy life total of 28, not bad, pass it there. Castle Vantress, and they're passing. Cavern of Souls number two, naming human. Let's run out Adeline, let's go to combat. Let's attack and enlist the guardian, tapping anointed peacekeeper. And I think that's it. All right, guardian becomes a five, two. We get to scry two. Uh, neither of those are particularly exciting. Maybe Thalia. So eighth of all put on the bottom, Thalia put on top, I guess. Make a one, one. Double blocking the 1-1 one, one to gain some extra life. Gaining more life than we're actually hitting them for. Fair enough. Pass the turn there. Scries 2. Play and crack a Misty Rainforest. Passes the turn there. Let's run out Thalia. Animate Mutavolt. Go to combat. Attack with Mutavolt. Attack and enlist with Guardian with Adeline being the enlisted creature. Okay. Scry 2. Put Planes on the bottom. Put Brutal Cathar on top. Goes to the old double block on the 1-1 one, one again. Hit him down to 4. Pass the turn there. Memory Deluge, giving us two cards. Brutal Cathar and the Planes. Opponents passing. Planes. Let's run out Brutal Cathar. Take out a Solitude. Casts a Solitude. Okay. Targets our Brutal Cathar. Cool. So now I will cast a Brutal Cathar. Take out a Solitude. Go to combat. Attack with the team. Let's see what happens. Blocks Adeline. Blocks an Esper Sentinel. And they die. Okay, so if they'd blocked an anointed peacekeeper, they would have lived. Good game. Okay, so that was round one against control. Is there anything I would like here? Probably not. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything. Yeah, run it back like that. Let's just be aggressive and hope to dodge board wipes. Uh, mm, one lander, but has the Esper Sentinel. It's so good. I'm going to keep. Hall of the Storm Giants. Go to my turn. Second land. Great. Cavern of Souls. Naming human. Esper Sentinel. Pass the turn there. Flooded Strand. They crack it. Hallowed Fountain. Untapped. Prismatic Ending. Cast with one color on my Esper Sentinel. Okay. Esper Sentinel down. Go to my turn. Mutavolt. Thalia. Pass the turn there. Hope that's enough. Hope that's enough. Steam Mints. Tapped. Okay. I think it might be enough. <laughs> Go to my turn. Planes. Anointed Peacekeeper. Show me what you got. Solitude. Okay, so it costs two more so they can take something else out. Yeah. What if we name Memory Deluge? So they cast Solitude. They have to ditch to Fairy to do it this turn, which then means Memory Deluge will be stuck. If we name Solitude, they have to spend two mana, but Memory Deluge is free if they take out the Thalia. I'm going to name Memory Deluge. Go to combat. Attack for two. Takes it down to 15. Pass the turn there. Mystic Gate. Hard cast to fairy. Okay. Bounces the Peacekeeper. Awesome. Go to my turn. Let's go to combat. Let's take out Teferi. Teferi down. Anointed Peacekeeper. Supreme Verdict. Solitude. Memory Deluge. They have the Hallowed Fountain. This is not good. Well, I guess it's Supreme Verdict. Pass the turn there. Hallowed Fountain tapped. Trying to cast something. Prismatic Ending. X equals two. Okay. Takes out the Anointed Peacekeeper. Go to my turn. Anointed Peacekeeper. Is it Supreme Verdict again? Yeah. Go to combat, attack for two, takes it down to 13, pass the turn there. Misty Rainforest, plays it, cracks it, gets an island. This is just pretty happy passing, okay. This is probably a solitude turn, so let's go to combat. We only attack with Thalia here. Attacking with both meant that they could play Solitude, exile the Thalia, then block the Anointed Peacekeeper, and then they're free again. But I don't want them to be free. I want them to pay their taxes. All right, they take it down to 10. Um, We could run out of Guardian here. I don't actually hate that idea too much. This just means we have an indestructible threat. Pass it there. Okay, they hard cast Solitude. They target <laughs> the Guardian, okay. 
Awesome. So now our taxes still exist. Chalice the Void on two, even though I have a Cavern of Souls. Doesn't seem great, does it, Dak? Go to my turn to run out Champion of the Parish. Thalia's Lieutenant can't be counted. Okay, this will force the Supreme Verdict, I think. Which they need another land to be able to cast. Awesome. Let's go to combat. Swing in for seven. Yep, Solitude goes away. They take three, gain three, stay at ten. Pass the turn there. Come on, whiff on your land. Whiff on your land. Just one more turn. Come on. Memory deluge. <laughs> Desperation. Desperation dig. All that helps them here is a solitude, and I don't think that's enough. Otawara. Okay. Yes! <laughs> All right, taking down control. Round five. Alrighty, final round. Yeah, let's keep this hand. Unclaimed territory. Name's Elemental. So they've revealed Kahira as their companion. All right, we might be in trouble. Let's go Plains, Aether Vial, pass the turn there. Reflecting Pool, Flamekin Harbinger. Wow, this is, this is like proper elemental tribal risen reef okay go to my turn aether vial ticking up anointed peacekeeper might come in handy let's run out of planes activate aether vial champion of the parish and thalia pass the turn there secluded courtyard names elemental yep runs out the risen reef no immediate explosions of pitch elementals that's good let's tick up our aether vial back up thalia's not bad let's run out thalia's lieutenant pump the team go to combat swing in for seven chump blocks takes three down to 17 all right we'll just pass the turn there there's the fury yep spreading the damage around so let's see what card they get land activate aether vial guardian of new banalia protect thalia's lieutenant okay yep has the ephemerate think that's mostly okay though gets value off the risen reef gets a card in hand four damage to the champion of the parish plays a horizon canopy another copy of risen reef okay a little bit gross more cards in hand go to my turn aether vial is ticking up planes is good anointed peacekeeper mm. voice of resurgence is going to be a pain so recommission can get back the flamekin harbinger is it an instant or sorcery sorcery so they get to get the card on top Top and get it with Risen Reef. That's disgusting. But then we also have these Voice of Resurgence to deal with. Um, well, we do have the Brutal Cathar for that, I suppose. So even naming the recommission doesn't take it away. It just costs two more. I think they're willing to pay that. Let's just say Voice of Resurgence. Okay, so Voice of Resurgence is now super expensive. Let's go to combat, attack and enlist with the Guardian, choosing Thalia's Lieutenant. So we will scry two. We don't need another Thalia. Is another Guardian any good? Probably. Put it on top. Okay, they go down to 11. Pass the turn there. Ephemerate, we're going to wait till after it targets. Targets the Fury. Activate Aether Vial. Brutal Cathar, take out the Fury. Okay, Ephemerate gone. Okay, recommission gets back the flamekin harbinger so is going to look at the top card gets it to their hand flamekin tutors gets a solitude yep pretty gross and risen reef gets another card in their hand has to evoke getting rid of a single voice of resurgence yeah okay targets the brutal cathar it's a bunch of cards to hand takes out the brutal cathar gets even more cards to hand gets a land to the battlefield deals four damage to the thalia's lieutenant okay has the ephemerate and we'll scoop it up there okay all right so sanctifies are great against the whole fury thing and i think chalices are great against the whole evoke thing I don't think we want marches, they can't hit enough, but I am tempted with dismember. Okay, um, so these are the eight I want to bring in. What eight do I want to cut? Uh, hopeful initiates, they're very good beaters, but that's all they are. And I'm tempted to cut the thalias, because they're basically just running the ephemerates. So maybe we should cut the sentinel and the thalias. Bring back in the hopeful initiates. I don't hate that. Yeah, run it back like that. Let's go first. It's going to be a tough matchup. This one's a mulligan. Mm -hmm. Mulligan this one. Wow, guess we're keeping this. Let's throw back Aether Vial Adeline. Seagate Wreckage might be able to draw us out of it. So let's lead Mutavolt, pass the turn there. Inspiring Vantage, Flamekin Harbinger. Tutors up, Risen Reef. Okay, go to my turn, play Ganjo, run out Champion of the Parish. Pass the turn there, Razor Verge Thicket, Thunderkin Awakener. Oh dear, passes the turn, thank goodness. Planes, sure, let's lead Brutal Cathar. Let's Take out the Flamekin Harbinger. Go to combat. Attack for two. 
Take it down to 18, pass the turn there. Cavern of Souls. Name's Elemental. Risen Reef. Pretty gross. Has Solitude too. Okay, had to pitch a card for it though. Risen Reef reveals a card to their hand. Solitude takes out the Brutal Cathar. They get to tutor a card to the top. And they get it with Risen Reef. This is pretty disgusting. <sighs> Fury. Well, evokes fury. Okay, well, they're certainly in a hurry to kill us. <laughs> okay, and what does fury reveal off the top? A land, okay. Takes out the Harbinger. Pretty gross. So they've got recommission, I'd say. No, just Thunderkin Awakener. Ah, I thought this was the one that recurred spells, but no, Thunderkin Awakener. Okay, gets to pick a card, put it on the top and then put it in their hand. Another copy of Fury, fair enough. Down to 20, go to my turn. Hmm. Seagate Wreckage, run out Guardian, pass the turn there. Unclaimed Territory, chooses Elemental. We probably should have tapped the Seagate rather than the Mutavolt because then we could block the Thunderkin Awakener and stop this madness. All right, they hard cast Fury. Risen Reef triggers, land to the battlefield, four damage to our creature, gonna discard champion to give it indestructible and tap it. Swings in, get back the harbinger i gotta be honest our opponent looks like they're having the time of their life <laughs> i'm not they get a solitude because that can deal with the harbinger go to my turn play the planes animate mutavolt go to combat they evoke the solitude and we scoop it up i won't lie disappointing way for the league to end let's draw chalice wouldn't have helped yeah okay not good <laughs> Alrighty, God's Shadow Mono White Humans deck. It's really solid. It's got more taxes than any of my taxes decks. And when they work, they work really well. Just, you know, preventing your opponents from being able to make the plays they want, keeping them off kilter and dealing damage, which that is the taxes game plan. And I love it. You get these great synergies with being human tribal where you get to pump your creatures, they pump themselves. We've got artifact and enchantment removal in the main deck, so we don't need to run it in the sideboard because we've got hopeful initiate, so it's attached to a body as well. That's really, really good. 20 lands, so I don't find we're flooding all that often. Some card draw in Seagate Wreckage, so there's a lot to love. I will say, however, because we are so locked into this taxing strategy and we don't run very much removal, we do get stuck when we're versing other creatures style decks. So the Elementals deck and the Taxes deck both were able to pull us apart. The Taxes matchup was pretty close, but yeah, if we had more pieces of removal, we could hit them more reliably, we could deal with the Caldra. Uh, if we did have more removal, those Elementals might not be coming back so much. Uh, definitely not my best gameplay in that Elementals game because I'm exhausted, but I certainly feel like we could do things to the deck to better those matchups. However, those matchups are quite niche, so they're not exactly what I would call tiered decks. So maybe you just take your lumps with those matchups and you hope to play against your control, your Merc Tide. Uh, I assume we have a good matchup against Rhinos and it looks like we'd have a decent one against Hammer Time as long as we can survive the initial hit. So overall, I really enjoy the deck. God Shadows 5-0'd with it. It seems really impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great to see a taxes deck that comes from a different direction. So thank you all very much. I hope you've enjoyed the video and until next time, have fun.